dear students this module is a continuation of the previous module which was part 1 this is the part 2 that how we submit the form to the server and what script should be at the server which will handle what has been submitted from the client side to the server side so let's look at the coverage of this module this is again a kind of a very comprehensive module which goes into the nitty gritty details of what was submitted and how it is going to be processed so let's dive into more detail so we have something called as the super global variables so what the super global variables are is that when we are declaring all those variables and we have uh, declaring in the sense that we are using them right and these variables are stored in the super global variable and we can write the php script to access the super global variables and get what we are interested in so that is the purpose of having those super global variables and and what are those arrays those arrays are for the get for the post we have discussed in lot of detail get and post in the prior modules which points to the importance of these and then is the request also okay so this example over here is that how do we get the email address which is stored in the super global variable so this is the strength of php programming so you can see uh, this membership form over here this is the membership form okay and we are asking for the first name the last name the email address the gender okay there's a check box there's a drop down menu and all those things so we have this reset form over here and we have this send details form over here now this reset form you know that if we click on it it will set to the default values which could be empty which could be anything as defined in the form and this send details will send it to the next page next page or it could uh, generate the next page for you dynamically so let's see uh, what that page would be and over here look at this is done locally and this is an html page this is an html page this is done locally so you have to be careful about it so this is the confirmation script so what does the confirmation script tells us okay what we are getting from the confirmation script the confirmation script is basically this is this is generated okay this is the thank you message over here and this script is generated this script is generated and what it will display okay corresponding to this script what will be displayed okay we see on the next slide this is this is going to be displayed and you see that the extension this is php okay this is dynamic this is dynamic page okay the previous was the static page and this is for the confirmation and i have shown you the code what goes behind this and how how does this works okay how does this works let's look at it that how how it works so basically what we have over here we have these uh, post working over here and we have this email address over here and you can see over here this is displayed this is displayed over here echo over here also and this is how it's working and this is going to the done dynamically so dealing securely with the form data what is to be carefully observed with the form data don't display the passwords of course so when you generate that dynamic page which carried the data from the previous page the password is not going to be displayed no direct echo or print user input no direct echo remember that the second page i showed you thank you page that was a dynamic page that was generated from the server so if the data is passed to the server without validation okay that that text box for example goes and takes the data to the server a malicious user can make use of that data being passed to the server therefore you don't do this directly 
and you have to validate the user input before you display it validation means that if there is undesired or undesirable material which is going to be passed that has to be blocked from going to the server it is not that simple i believe you understand this so what if the form is empty what if the form is empty so handling the empty form fields so if the text input field is empty the field name is sent along with an empty value if checkbox is empty nothing is sent radio button is empty nothing is sent okay reset button nothing is ever sent nothing is ever sent because it will set it to the default value hidden field the field name is sent along with an empty value okay when the hidden was empty list box nothing is sent at all multi select box nothing is sent at all so you see the point over here is that how the empty data which is being sent in the form is handled okay where it is handled the client is capturing these things you don't have to bother the server with all those things so that's all i have for this module